I did this video was because I'm quite self-conscious about Irv's palsy. It's um, it's something that obviously I was born with, um, and people always go, oh, you know, Matt, we don't we don't notice, you know, no one no one notices, and, and we can't see it. Um, but that's fine, but I can, and it's it's one of those things where I notice it, and every time I have. A photograph taken you know always make sure that you know I'm sort of on this side rather than on this side you know and, and the way that my my, uh, well, my my hand and my arm hangs you know I feel very self-conscious about that and when I put on a suit for work and you know it's like that arm's shorter and I can see it and I know people say they don't notice but it's something that I've battled with all my life and um, and I know there's different ranges of um, and different degrees of of brachial plexus herbs palsy and and you know we've got to work through that and, it, and it's difficult um and unfortunately you know i guess i try not to be one of these sort of people that gets wrapped up in image and and, and what people look like but it's, it's just funny because i'm i do my music i'm in a band and whenever there's photographs of the band i sort of see how i am playing the guitar and the way i hold my guitar and stuff and i think oh man you know kind of but i shouldn't feel like that i know i shouldn't and part of starting this this video blog in this this diary was to keep me motivated and also to overcome that and to expose it because I was so afraid to expose it um, I think doing this has helped me and hopefully it'll help you as well um, but you know I feel actually kind of blessed that I've got this in a way because I don't think I would be who I am today without it so don't think of your herbs palsy as, as being a, a bad thing in a way it might feel like that at times and I certainly feel like that but it's actually opened up a lot of doors for me you know I don't really don't think I would be um, playing guitar singing playing the drums and meeting half met, you know I've met loads of really cool people and I don't think I would know them if it wasn't for for this so um, for every negative there's always so many positives so just try and find those positives set yourself goals and just every day just a few more steps a few more things and you can do it and um, as you can see in, in one of my videos there, week one, week two, I've gone from four push-ups to ten in just a week. Um, so I'm just thinking, wow, well, what's next? You know, um, there's so many goals now that I can set because I know just within a week I've, I've accomplished one goal. Um, so it's going to be a really interesting year and hopefully you will all um, enjoy watching. Um, I'm certainly enjoying putting it together and it is keeping me motivated. Um, and it was quite funny because I go into the gym where I work and... Um, I've always been really intimidated going into a gym because I just I don't feel like I belong in a gym. You know, I kind of I always feel really dorky and like I look at everyone else and they're like massive and I just think, well, yeah, I'm I'm not going to look like that, which is how I shouldn't feel, but um, I just that's how I do feel. And then when I'm at the, at the machines and I'm kind of like just struggling to push with my left arm and it's just like, come on, man, like this is embarrassing. And um, but it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. And and this week I've really sort of let go of that, and um, and it's been a really nice feeling. And so I go in there and I've got like the the machine on like the the light is setting, and I'm like oh, I struggling with my left arm. But you know it's it's a it's a really cool feeling. And now I'm just like I don't care what people think. And if they look at me weird and think oh you know you shouldn't be doing it like that, and I just explain. I say well you know actually I've got this problem, and I'm trying to sort of get better. And they go oh you know that's really cool. Like if you want any help then just say so. Don't be intimidated by going into the gym. Um, so yeah, so just just go for it. Just um, just don't care what other people think, because I, I cared for too long, and so now I don't I don't care. So um, so hopefully that's uh, that's helped you a little bit as well. Um, but you've just got to do it yourself. It's all right me saying that, but you've just got to go and do it yourself. You know, um, and that's one thing I've definitely learned. So yeah, hopefully you're, you're enjoying the videos. If you've got anything that you want to share. Um, just drop me a message and you know I really really love hearing from you because I, I uh, have been chatting to a guy um, over in America um, called Kyle he's amazing like he's so cool like he's he's gone in the six years he's got brachial plexus and he is absolutely stacked he's massive and um, he's been giving me some support so thank you very much Kyle you know um, you really helped me this week uh, with your support on Instagram so um, if you want to follow uh, my story um, and my journey 
Um, I've got Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, and it's at Beating BPI. So um, hopefully I can get to meet some of you guys and um, and yeah, keep going. Um, I'm range movement still kind of the same as it was this way. So I'm still trying to get those stretches out and, and, and stuff and trying to just build that, but it's definitely helping. So just keep pushing on and you can do it. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.